Welcome to another Broadway Profile Show Spotlight. I'm Tamson Fidel. The 50th anniversary production of the musical phenomenon Jesus Christ Superstar is coming to a city near you. An iconic rock opera that reinvented musical theater for the modern age. This Olivier award-winning production has been reimagined all while staying true to the timeless story. With mesmerizing choreography, music from Andrew Lloyd Webber, and the lyrics of Tim Rice, this version of Superstar has moments that make you feel like you're at a rock concert. Superstar follows the last week of Jesus Christ's life. The story, told entirely through song, explores the personal relationships and struggles between Jesus, Judas, Mary Magdalene, his disciples, his followers, and the Roman Empire. Watching and hearing this electrifying show play out on stage is a genuinely amazing experience. These are the rock roots that defined a generation. I had a chance to speak with three of the great cast members from the North American tour of Jesus Christ Superstar. I want to start off and talk about the inspiration for this version of the production. Um, where did it come from? And, uh, you know, um, Aaron, I'll start with you. This version originated in London, um, in Regent's Park. In, I'm going to say 2016, it's very real, it's very raw, it's very intense. But the choreography is amazing, and the singers are amazing, the acting's great. I mean, it's a very cool, hip, updated version. It's very to the point. It hits you pretty fast. Show me there's a reason for you wanting me to die. You're far too keen on where and how. Not so hard on what. What is it like uh, for all of you taking on such iconic roles? It's an honor. I think the way that they created this piece was to bring all of us to these real humans and not just have them as the uh, ideas that people have of these iconic figures in history, because everyone has such a distinct vision of each of these people in their own minds, but they really wanted us to be us. And I think that that was what was so cool as an actor to just kind of like authentically live in it every single night. They just wanted us to be real, whatever we were feeling. So you might see the show again, and it might feel a bit different because of what we're bringing to the table that night, how it's how we're feeling in it. And I just think that that's the part of this production that is really special. It's just very authentic and raw. Sleep and I shall soothe you, calm you and anoint you before your heart forehead. Oh, then you'll feel everything's all right. Yes, everything's fine. You know, I, I've heard that, you know, the themes of, of, of the show are love, responsibility, friendship, uh, leadership, all the things that, that really are, are, are we need right now in, in our real lives as well. Uh, talk a little bit about that and about how the, the show in our real life kind of parallel each other. There is a lot of responsibility. Um, uh, it's a little heavy. It's, there's a lot of weight involved with these um, historical figures that everyone in the world from knows about, right? So there's a lot of that, but like Jenna said, you're bringing a lot of your authentic self to it. So at the end of the day, you're just, that's where you're based. That's where, that's where the story comes from. And it comes from the actual feelings within you. Let's talk a little bit about the show. Um, it's rock roots, it's um, electric production, iconic music. You know, the show's got just a little bit of everything sprinkled in, right? One of the things I can't wait for is when that first chord hits, when oh, Mike hits yeah. that first chord, even with an iconic show like this, even before the pandemic, when that chord would hit, the audience would lose it, right? Because they just cannot wait to see this beloved show that is over 50 years old now. So I can't wait to experience that when we get back because people have just been hungering to, to get back into theater and to have that live experience and to have this um, rock show 
that, um, in my opinion, we do so well. There are nine tenors in this show and me and Jenna, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and uh, all of our voices are so different and distinct. And I think that also is what makes our show very special. What does that first chord sound like? <laughs> and he's sort of, he's lit, he sort of, and you see a shadow of him and the guitar at the top of the show and people just lose it. Even doing this right now just got me excited just because it, it just feels good to do this again, right? We haven't done this. this we, we, we've had these, we've had these, um, you know, such mixed emotions about and expectations about when we when we're coming back. We, you know, at, when we first shut down, we thought we were going to open back up in a few weeks or a few months potentially. Um, and then when we saw the reality, it was like, oh, okay. Every, not just ours. Er, lots of people are, are are being affected by this. The entire world, right? I'm just excited to share space with people, to, it, with with an audience, tell stories again. I mean, there's nothing more, at least from my point of view in the show. It's just, it's very intense, but it's it's a very visceral connection. Once again, the North American tour of Jesus Christ Superstar is headed your way. For more information on the national tour, visit ustour.jesuschristsuperstar.com. And we leave you with an exclusive performance from Jesus Christ Superstar. God, Take me now before I change my mind.